Do not just rely on willpower. Develop skill power. Ask yourself, what are the skills I need and don't have to master my own health and vitality, to master the quality of my diet? Is it, you know, is it shopping? I don't, I don't know how to read labels. I don't know what to buy. Is it cooking? I don't have time to cook. I don't have interest in cooking or I don't know how to cook. Is it, you know, I don't know what to pick when I'm eating out and I eat out all the time. Is it, I don't know how to manage my appetite. What, what skills are you missing? Skill power is really important. I mean, I, I, I like to use the example of a pilot because we, I think, all respect that skill. It's so obvious. Somebody gets in the cockpit of a big plane and they can make the damn thing fly. I mean, it's just kind of, it's kind of, <laughs> but, you know, pilots are not special people necessarily. Some pilots are cranky and some are friendly and, you know, some are articulate and some are not. I mean, they're just like the rest of us in terms of their human attributes, but they have a skill set those of us who can't fly planes just don't have. Now, if you want to be a pilot, you can't just wish upon a star. You have to actually take lessons and learn how to fly. But you could. You could acquire those skills. So eating well is a lot easier than flying a plane, but it's skill dependent. Knowing how to read a label, knowing in every aisle of the supermarket what's the better choice to make. How do I consistently buy stuff I actually want to eat and yet trade up the nutritional quality? More fiber, more potassium, more healthy fats, less sugar, less salt, less unhealthy fats. What do I look for? How do I do that? And then when I get it home, what do I do with it? And so, again, there's, there's a skill set. And as you said, I've done uh, 18 or 19 books to date, and this is what many of them are about. All the details of both. Here's the what right. and, and here's the how. So, I, you know, I, I've addressed this at great length in, in many of the works I've done. And I'm constantly looking for new ways to do it. So at this stage of my career, I'm an entrepreneur. I founded a company I'm running called Diet ID. And we are working to help people accomplish all of this via a digital platform. And people can learn more at dietid.com. And of course, excuse me, there are many other apps and, and you know, sort of digitized mm -hmm. offerings to help you. But decide what skills do you need to eat? Well, is it knowledge? Do you, do you lack good information? I don't know what a healthy diet is in the first place. Well, then you need to learn. But maybe it's not that. No, I know exactly what a healthy diet is. I just don't like what it tastes like. Okay, well, then I would recommend Taste Bud Rehab to you. Taste Bud Rehab is the fact that taste buds are adaptable little fellas. When they can't be with the foods they're used to loving, they learn to love the foods they're with. So I would say if you think you like the taste of junk food and don't like the taste of wholesome food, it's because you're used to junk food. So you want to develop a plan to transition food by food away from highly processed junk and toward more wholesome food. And you will find you will incrementally start to prefer more and more wholesome food. Totally achievable. So again, you need, you need to decide either on your own or with the help of a health professional coach, mm -hmm. physician, dietitian, somebody that, that can guide you, what, what is my skill deficit? So make it a priority, commit to some effort, Identify missing skills and acquire the, the relevant skill power. 